Hey, what's going on guys? Terribly Tactical here again. And today it's a quick little fun video. I, I want to show you guys what I'm doing. Recently, I was able to pick up a new rifle, something that I've always been interested in and got it for a decent price and I don't see a lot of them. So I went ahead and did it and I got the rifle knowing exactly what I was going to do with it. That rifle being the Colt AR-15 A4. Kind of out of frame because this is a big some bitch. But you see it's got the A2 style stock on it. And the carry handle, that's how it comes. It does not come with this Knight's Armament rail. I put that on there. But it does come with the regular plastic hand guards, the rifle length ones. And it's just a regular Colt 5.56, the AR-15 A4 designation. You see it has the... Uh, A2 front post and just a regular A2 flash hider, you know, a birdcage. Other than that, it's just a regular Colt rifle. It's amazing as it is. I, I always wanted a rifle length gun because even though there's not much to begin with, a rifle length gun with a rifle length gas system will shoot so much smoother and lighter and have less recoil than a carbine or a mid-length gun. Uh, usually the longer you get, the more reliable as well. So that's always nice, and I wanted to build a clone. I've been thinking about doing this for a while, and so I'm doing it. I got the rifle. This is my base. Everything is going to stay the same as far as the grip and all that. Uh, the stock, obviously, I'm going to have to put one of the little extra mag pouches on the stock. i got to find that. It does have the storage compartment in the stock, so I'm going to fill that with some accoutrement, some tools and batteries and whatever. Uh, I might need uh, the carry handle. Uh, a lot of guys overseas run them. This is what the Marines used, um, uh, at least in the 2000s in Afghanistan. I'm sure some are still in use today. I know a lot of guys are going to the Mark 18 or, you know, something smaller, but nice rifle length gun. The carry handle has been run, um, you know, in theater. But I'm going to put an ACOG on this, the one that's period correct, and you know the, the same exact one the guys are using out in the sandbox. Um, put the Knight's Armament rail on it, and that is the rifle length rail. It's beat up, it's used and abused. Got this off AR15.com from some guy. Uh, it's completely legit, I checked it out, or checked it out, vetted it, all that good stuff. Um, don't know if it was a bring back or something, because this thing looks like it's been to hell and back. Um, or the guy just runs his stuff hard, which kudos to him. Uh, and as well, I got the Knight's Armament foregrip from him. Uh, from all the pictures I can tell, the guys usually run them around this area. I've seen some guys run it super close to the, the magwell, which I don't like and I think doesn't give you any benefit of the foregrip. I usually shoot with a thumb over bore anyway, um, but I can kind of do the half and half thing with the foregrip there or stretch out a little further because I am going to probably put some type of surefire light up here, probably a scout, whichever one um, that they use that's, that's correct for the clone, clone correct. I do have a Mill Serp uh, Colt Mag aluminum. Um, doesn't have the anti-tilt follower, so don't know if that'll give me any problems or not, but I'm going to run it because this is a clone. This is kind of a fun rifle, but it's also a very nice rifle, and it's it's proven, you know, hell and back reliable. So this could definitely be a defensive gun, a life and liberty gun, and setting it up exactly how it was overseas, obviously, it's a good way to do it. Um, I like the extra punch, the extra velocity, the extra range that the 20-inch gives you, uh, the better accuracy. Um, I'm going to put either a cry precision sling on this or a blue force, you know, or just whatever standard issue that they run Towards the muzzle brake. I'm going to put a four prong on there Now that's going to hurt a little bit because it's about 250 bucks for a muzzle device But I want to do exactly clone correct. So that's what it's going to take Give you a look at this rail here the Knights armament Really like it and you can tell that it's all beat up Used and abused which I like uh, it doesn't necessarily match the rifle because the rifle is brand new and it's been shot only once and uh, it doesn't have any good character on it yet. But I might take this guy through a training class, you know, out in my normal training and running gunning and stuff like that. So eventually all the wear will match. 
I'm very much so debating if I should Krylon this um, or have it Cerakoted to look like Krylon with like a battle-worn finish, you know, flat dark earth, stuff like that. So give me your guys' opinion. Let me know if you guys are building clones too or if you have in the past, you know somebody who does. Um, any ideas on where to get some good parts that are legit and not super expensive because that ACOG, that's going to break the bank a little bit. It's about $1,200. Um, but that's going to be nice. It's going to be a nice investment. They hold their value. It's definitely hell and back reliable as far as the sight goes. And I've always wanted one, you know, and I can use it on other guns too. I could take it off and I could put it back on and whatever. So it'll be nice to have, um, which before doing this, I always wanted one, like I said, but I wasn't sure if I'd ever get one, but now I almost need to. So it's, it's a nice way to justify the purchase to myself. Uh, so that'll be nice. I like this little Knight's Armament foregrip. Comes on and off very easily. It's functional, durable, reliable. Obviously been used overseas. Same thing with the rail. Uh, this is going to be a heavy gun, especially with all the stuff on it. It's a rifle length. It's longer. It's not the best thing for clearing rooms in a, in a tight space, but guys have been getting it done with this rifle for years, and uh, it's just a training thing. I'm really psyched about it. I'm really stoked. I love the rifle. The only thing that is different is it does have an ambi safety selector, which is nice. I do like that, but it's not clone correct. Um, but I'm not going to take that off. I'm not going to do anything with that. Other than that, this is the exact same um, setup as they would have used overseas and probably still are. Uh, some guys at least. And I just need to get some extra stuff. I should have done the video first as the just regular rifle out of the box. Wasn't thinking. I got the rail. I got super excited and I put it on. And so it's on. I'm not going to take it off um, to do the video, but I will give you updates every time I get a new piece of gear, a sling, the muzzle brake, you know, the sight, whatever I'm going to do to this. I will do an update video and show you guys step by step along the way how it's coming together. But so far, this is what I got and I'm really digging it, guys.